That was awesome. GG to Dom earning the first point, but remember, you got to earn two points if you want to advance in this tournament. So we are going to head on back here to our Wheel of Fate, and we're down to just five possible answers here on the Wheel of Fate. SolidWorks with Joseph says, good job, Dom. Good work, Dom. Yes, indeed. Bishal is in the chat. What's up, Bishal? Great to see you in here. Says, nice. Yes, nice indeed. I agree. Guys, don't forget to hit the like button on this video. It looks like we got about 90 people watching right now. Let's see if we can get the like count up to 90 as well. And we got Rambros Workshop 6, Abdullah 3, Rockcrawler 1, Jim Yu 3. I'm not going to shuffle it. Let's see here. Church of Egg. Come on, 05. Don't fail me now. Uh, Muhammad 01, Black Skull 01. And Nufazar coming in with 07. I like it. Vicky Chong 6, FPV Kev 7. I'm not going to move it around at all. I'm just gonna just gonna kind of let it roll here. But wow, what a great match there. Congratulations to Dom for getting that one. Really, really nice. Really, really impressive. And let me just get my guest name off here. There we go. All right, here we go. Let's give this thing a rip. The wheel of fate has spoken and has chosen. Okay. Oh, this is a good one. The Wheel of Fate has spoken and has chosen 25 SPO 05. And Blue Byte Systems coming in with another 10 memberships for our audience. Thank you so much to Blue Byte Systems. Wow, wow, wow. That is awesome. And here we go, guys. This is going to be a fun one. I got a feeling it's going to go pretty quick. And that's what we expect here in these early rounds. We have uh, all of our challenges are tier three and tier four in this earlier round. So here we go. This next CAD vs. CAD battle featuring Gray from Russia using SolidWorks and Dom from the United States using SolidWorks begins in three, two, one, go. What is the mass of this part in XXX grams? The tolerance is plus or minus one gram. This part is made from ABS. It's an MMGS and it's called hinge mount. And it looks like both of our runners have grabbed a screen capture. Both of our runners are taking a look at their SolidWorks screen and are deciding how to begin. So let's flip over and see what they come up with for this challenge. It looks like both of our runners have decided to start with a circle. Here we see Gray dropping in that circle with auto dimensioning. Oh, I like that. He did 32 times two to get that diameter for that larger one. Very cool use of arithmetic there in the SolidWorks interface. I do that all the time. Even if it's simple math, I still do it all the time. Jern recognizing that this is looking very similar to an old TTT part. That is correct. It is indeed a familiar part, an older part. We do have some of the older parts here making their way back into the tournament. Um, they're such good parts, you know, why why not just use them again? Why use them once when we could use them again? So we do have some older parts here that may be making their appearance again. But of course, they're always changed, always different material, always different dimensions. So you can't just go back and look at the old answers. But look at this. We've got our two runners from across the world from each other, creating very similar sketches here to get started with this model. I really like how both of our runners are starting here. Looks like Dom is using more of a layout approach where he's going to be putting in all the geometry from multiple sketches here in this first feature. And then he's extruding using what's called contour selection in SolidWorks. So I like this approach. I like this way of getting started, kind of laying the whole thing out. It's got that first feature turned into a solid already here. And now look, he's able to use that same sketch once again for a secondary feature. He's able to use that same sketch once again for the tertiary feature. So that's kind of the cool thing about laying out all your geometry in the first sketch like Dom did there. You can see he's able to just use that same sketch over and over again with what's called contour selection. Something Since I started using Onshape, I've really been using it a lot more both in Onshape and in SolidWorks. That's a cool thing about learning a new CAD software. You know, you, you sign up for onshape.com slash free. You start learning that for a little bit. You go back to SolidWorks and then you start really expanding your capabilities because now you're you're kind of like trying to do stuff that you learned in Onshape in SolidWorks and then you're like, oh, it works here too. This is great. So this is uh, this is very cool stuff here. 
All right. And so we see here that Dom looking in on this thing from the top, uh, modeling up these, this rectangle, getting rid of that dimension. Oh, very cool. So he added in the first auto dimension, then got rid of the second dimension because of how it's dimensioned on the print I like that. And now editing that, uh, that cut extrude, changing it to through all. And it looks like Dom is going to be going through and adding some fillets. Loves flexing that window select for the fillet command. And you can see here that this model uh, is, it does have some kind of interesting features in it. It's almost got like a sleeve in that upper region. And so now Dom is going to be trying to work through that sleeve in that upper region. We see Gray on the left looking down from the top, creating that kind of slotted shape there, looking down from the top. So very nice, very nice use of the slot command there. I love uh, the use of the slot command there in SolidWorks. And we see Dom using what's called a custom properties manager to try to come up with the weight here so that the weight just kind of automatically calculates. And Dom coming in with an answer. One, two, one grams. And guys, we got ourselves our second winner here. Moving into the semifinals in a couple of weeks. Dom, that is correct. 121 grams is correct. Jern in the chat says, wow, two clean sweeps. Yes, indeed. Wow, wow, wow. What a battle. What a battle. A global battle here. Four different runners from four different countries. And wow, wow, wow. What a win there on the end from Dom. And what a battle, too, from Gray. Gray was right there hot on his heels on both of those challenges. So definitely an awesome set of matches and a lot of fun to watch. But it is going to be Dom who moves on in the tournament. So congratulations to Dom, GG to Dom, and really GG to all of our runners today. It was really awesome watching all of the runners in both of our matches today. Wow. Guys, if you enjoyed this live stream, be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to leave us a comment. Come back afterwards and leave us a comment down below in the comments. But what a great series of matches today.